get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. My name is Maureen Koich. I am an actress, musician, and a creative entrepreneur. My art is my life and my movement to help make the world a better place for you and I. I'm not loud, yet a proud artist. I still have my fair share of life, dreaming and hustle to do. So welcome to my world with just you, me, and my camera. Let's move and groove as we keep it real. This is how we d this is how I do. out yo carrying quite a bit of stuff <laughs> um, wardrobe makeup I'm going for a shoot and I'm excited I'm always excited when I go for a shoot because the experience or experiences are usually different they vary from like set to set uh, yeah so Let's see how this goes. <sighs> yeah, I haven't had my breakfast yet because usually what happens at a film set is they serve, you know, most meals, but most of the time it's breakfast and lunch. But if you're doing like a, an overnight shoot or maybe you're, you're on the set for a while for, you know, more than a day, then of course all the meals they, they serve, but yeah, so that saves me some time and I don't have to... Uh, I'll use that time to uh, drive because it's, it's a bit far off. I think it's in Karen. So once I get there, I call the director and he'll give me way forward. I'll find time to also do my morning devotion. Usually I do that when I'm taking breakfast because it's like, yeah physical food and spiritual food so I usually take it at the same time I don't know I just I just found my way to do it I guess and that that works for me so since I haven't done breakfast physical breakfast <laughs> yeah when I do that I'll find some time definitely all right I try not to put things down because when I put it down or aside or just, you see like I put that down there I, I tend to forget it I, to, I forget to pick it up because you know, I'm in a hurry to leave so. I just, I try, prefer to just struggle with this stuff in my hand. It's probably not advisable, but well, to each their own, right? To each their own. Whoa, like I don't even want to leave this on for too long. All right, my Jesus, my God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Ooh, thy kingdom come. One, two, three, go. Yes! <laughs> All right, Maureen one car battery zero zit nada nothing yo. <laughs> All right, let's do this, y'all. Woo! I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me sanitize first, cause I actually. Open the gate myself also, so to be careful. All right, so we'll pray. We'll do a quick prayer and then uh, we go, man. So, <sighs> excited. All right, let's 
heart. Let's pray, guys. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for this amazing, beautiful day that you've given to us. Uh, we would like to ask for uh, we would like to ask for the forgiveness of sins, oh Father, that you may uh, forgive all the sins that we have done. Oh Father, anything that we've said or done, I thought that in please you, Almighty Father. And even as we go uh, to the shoot, uh, that uh, you will be with us through the uh, through the day, as we start, as we continue, as we uh, finish. Um, then we ask for your strength and blessing. I pray for the audience, oh Father, everyone who's watching, that you may bless them in their areas of needs and need and want, oh Father, and that you may bless their day. You may um, go before them in every way, Almighty oh Father and that you may be you may give them the uh, the desires of their heart thank you for everything we bless and we praise your name bless the journey in jesus name i pray amen Mwah. all right let's go guys all right so on long road it is um should be a 40 minute ride or so so um but you know it's early morning saturday so there shouldn't be too much traffic uh going there I presume, <laughs> yeah, and I hope, of course. Okay, so um, yeah, today we're going. We're doing um, we're doing a poetry shoot. It's definitely different from what I'm usually used to, because most of the time I'm shooting like a comedy series. Okay, not mostly drama, actually drama, or I'm shooting, you know, my own stuff. You know, lately I've been doing a lot of my own shoots. Um, or I'm doing my music videos. Uh, I've actually never done a poetry shoot ever, ever. So this is going to be a very fresh experience and I'm so excited. Um, uh, so there's the VO part of it where I'm gonna be reciting the poem. Uh, that should be studio based or sound based. So it's just, you know, directly to the mic and then now acting out the picture for that. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I just, I prefer to just let drivers go when I'm getting into a major road, just because I know I tend to drive relatively slow. All right, so, you know, a lot of guys usually ask me, you know, how do you, you know, what's like your, what's like your prep, like in terms of when you're, when you're going to act, right? I'm an actress. I'm going. I'm on. I'm on set, or I'm going to set on or, or on set. Um, you know how do? What's the process like in terms of your preparation for performance, right? And how do you handle the tensions, the emotions? You know everything that comes with a job. And you know I have my own way of doing things. So I guess today I'm just going to give you guys a rundown of a periodic rundown of how I, um, um, you know, I, I, I prepare and I go on set and I do my thing, you know, lights, camera, action and, you know, how I handle working with other, other actors, how I handle working with the crew, you know, <laughs> so I'm going to just give you a rundown. Uh, through the day through the day not all at once so i think i'll just let me just start with the first thing i always do when i go when i'm about to start or you know just even before i go to that particular set is i pray i pray i feel like that like that is the most important thing for me to do i pray for of course safe travels going there i pray for i, I ask god to give me um a positive state of mind a fresh state of mind for me to do my you know to give a good performance you know and not actually not a good performance I want to give my best performance you know so I, I ask God to give me whether it's the lines maybe it's 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 a performance where you know I'm it's heavy on lines and it's heavily dependent on um, you know, performance when it comes to projection and oh, thank you. And um, thank you, giving way, drivers. You have learned your lesson today. I'm seeing people are following my advice. Giving way, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I pray that God gives me um, 
the ability to perform my best you know because a lot of times you actually you know you have your lines but the, just i don't know the mood or just the feeling the vibe in that set just does not allow you to give your best performance and you know so that can be an impediment towards growth as an artist so just to cover that first level is prayer i believe in prayer in so many uh for so many ways or for so many reasons or for for the for your growth and you know So I'll give you a tid- tidbit too shortly so I'll just stick around. All right, so let's see how the how the motaratara looks like cuz me naona kuna ka traffic hapa kidogo but uh, anyhow I think it's not such a heavy it's not like heavy traffic but we should be yeah we should be okay. eagle or is it a hawk spots like a worm from you know two kilometers high me i can spot traffic five kilometers away i can smell it i don't like it yeah i have my cats here i don't know if cat people yo cat people do you people have this issue because me i'm struggling i need help my cat is a fluffy cat So she has this long hairs. <laughs> and one of the things I have to leave the house with. And if I don't, I'm going to have a bad day. Lit I'm not even joking right now. If I don't do this, if I don't cu- uh, carry this, I would have a bad day. Oh. This is a mirror. Cuz I have to check uh, my eye and uh, you know, get my my cats hairs from my eyes because a lot of times I don't know I guess it gets caught in my 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 clothes or my bags and whatever so right now I'm I'm about to pull up somewhere so that so I can remove like my cat's hair from my eye I know it's bizarre it's crazy but well my life that is my life y'all welcome to my life it's dangerous oh my goodness What did you all see that? Then this mat just comes, decides I need a wash. I need a proper wash. I just got a call from the director. Wallo. Let me tell you my guys what. <laughs> I am late and I am very sorry you should never be late to set which brings me to tidbit number 2 Yeah Um always be prepared um if possible arrange stuff the night before so that in the morning cuz what I did yesterday I I had a very busy day so I was so tired I I wanted to prepare myself like get all the wardrobe I'm supposed to have uh, pack my makeup but I didn't do that because I was so tired so I was like ah let me just do it in the morning but guess what morning what happens I wake up late or relatively late or actually I woke up on the time the actual time I was supposed to but then I had a lot to do yeah um I I had quite a bit to do in regards to prep so oh my goodness Yes, uh yeah, someone someone was crossing the road so I needed to just be keen there. Uh so yeah, always be prepared. 
in regard to timing, just make sure you time yourself properly so that you don't get late. Because when you get late, what happens is you really, you could mess up production that way. Because, you know, time is money. Especially in production, like literally you lose 30 minutes, you've lost time. You know, uh, equipment is hired on the, on the, on the day, like uh, daily. So literally every hour is, t- t- is, uh, is money every hour that passes and you've lost you know uh if you were not shooting right so a lot of times you find maybe one or two cast members or crew um or sometimes you find that uh, one or two cast or crew members have not arrived on set on time so that can end up messing production so always be on time that's number one I'm late today. I am very sorry about that and I shouldn't be doing I should never be late. I always do my best to be on time when I'm going to any set. Um, cuz you know I don't want I, I don't ever want to mess production. You know, they're paying you to be there. So you can't be late. You shouldn't be late, you know. It's it's anyway, it's it's, it's actually very basic stuff. Like there's no job you should go to late. Uh, and I always also expect that from the cast or crew that I hire that I, you know, I don't expect them to be late. Of course, I understand there's usually sometimes, you know, um, stuff happens and, you know, emergencies on the road, etc, etc. But then, um, you know, we do do our best. That's, that's just my advice. So then after that, ensure you have, you've, pre- you've, pre- you've prepared yourself. You know, if it's lines you should get get your lines before you go to set don't do it unless of course they've not given you the script and they've specifically indicated that they're going to uh, do that when you get to the set have your lines don't go without your lines oh my goodness if that is the one thing that would really mess me up if I if if, if it if, if it happened to me or if it when it happens to me god forbid but it's rare it's so rare because i know myself you know i've been in this business for more than a decade now so i know better than to not go on set without my lines because i i tend to not perform as as well as i should you know uh so yeah yeah um so yeah always be prepared always have your lines and you'll have an easier time because then what happens if, when you have your lines you know it's, it's now the director to tell you okay uh let me let's do a, a rehearsal uh so you rehearse do a technical rehearsal or a performance rehearsal and you know the director will give you guidelines you know perhaps you should do this this way or that way or if you're good you know he'll just be like yeah ace let's you know let's shoot let's shoot so um try as much as you possibly can to just always be prepared so preparation uh so that's onset and offset be prepared be always prepared even the bible says (laughs) i'm trying to figure out what that verse is that verse of um where there were brides with uh with with lamps and with with oil no there were brides with who, there were like nine brides who didn't have oil in their lab and then there was the groom who was coming I mean, oh my goodness i need to get that story a bit more but yeah preparation even the bible talks about it we should always be prepared all right guys wow so the hair situation is becoming bad like seriously i can't see i can't see from this eye of course i mean i can see the road but I'm, I'm seriously struggling, like I'm feeling my tears are just there. And you, you know, it just, it's, oh my goodness, what? Woo! Oh my goodness, I need to stop, I need to stop somewhere. Okay, there's traffic here. So maybe I can take advantage of the situation. Oh my goodness. Ouch! I can see it! Perfect spot. Perfect spot. Let me stop here. Nice. Yes. Oh my goodness. Finally, I can get this cat here. It's so painful. (laughs) 
Finally, it is out. Can you see this? Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness! Uh. All right, guys. So turns out I was lost. Okay, so I have seen them. I have seen them. Pole, pole. I am sorry. Pole, pole, pole. Morning. I know she It's okay. Hata sasa kiki kuizima kwa sababu nimeko. Sasa guys, pole. Ni ni battery. Just let it cook for a bit. Eh, wacha niache ika ika. Eh, ni kwani mende hivi down. Nikafika mpaka kwa nini? Yeah, I don't know why. Mpaka inaniambia you have arrived at your destination. Welcome. Kidogo ni hut. Kidogo. So we have arrived, guys. We have arrived on location. So beautiful. It's in Derry. This is in Derry. Yeah, we're in Derry. Beautiful, beautiful place. Out of town shoot. This was an out of town shoot. And I'm ex I always love out of town shoots because it's an opportunity to travel. If there's something. Oh my goodness, I think these are. I need to move for the border guy. Yeah, so usually parks of being an actor <laughs> is for the most part um, or, or a lot of times you get to travel and go to exotic places and, and you know it's always just an, an experience to remember most of the time when you go out of town um, you know so this is one such um, and yeah, you get to see places, you get to know people and, 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 and interact with different kinds of people. I've gone for a shoot um, outside Nairobi, like this is the, I think, the, maybe the fourth or fifth time. I've gone for a shoot outside the country uh, also, so I'll, I'll tell you guys about that another time. But yeah, this is one of those out of town shoots. So yeah, I know it's going to be fun. So let's see how it goes. Nini? Ah, mm. mini uh, You know, even when I, I'm when at home, I park in reverse, mm. and it's a very, it's something I had to learn for about a month. Mm, right. so it's that's tight spot, so I'm very good with reverse these days. Thank you. Oh yeah. Oh, it's too cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Najua nimefika. Um so I'll leave Mokorari to just rev a bit or I'll leave the engine running a bit. Ndio tusikuwe na machida dogo dogo if you know what I'm saying. Oh, to can you break faster? Mm, I'm telling you, where? Kwani mmekuzimikia? Eh, twice now. Jana. Eh? Eh. I need to replace. 